Yo, what's going on guys? Today we'll be looking at the newest SSR unit released today to go alongside her newest event, Medusa. Now this Medusa has the same treatment that Zoe, the Visa Zoe from the credit card had in the past where they re-released the same unit and the same element, but more accessible to everybody. If you didn't know, there was a light Zoe that you could get if you um, subscribe to some Visa card. Um, I don't remember what it was, but if you were able to get it. Um, now with Medusa, there was the Medusa you can get from Link's Mate. Now they've made Medusa a lot more easy to get besides the Valentine's one. Funny enough is that um, both Medusa and Zoe both got a limited version of them. That was um, a normal gotcha unit. That being Summer Zoe and for Medusa, Valentine's Medusa. Now, this unit is in a hard situation if you're trying to use her for the hardest rate in the game. Because if you look at her problem, it's the fact that she's a primal unit and there's already a very good one in Earth. So her viability for that raid automatically is hindered. Though if you don't have Alex, you do this is another option for you in your primal slot. Do keep in mind you can actually run both of them together. Just note that who, depending on your slot order, um, the unit that is coming after the first primal unit will end up dying. So if Alex is slot two, Medusa is slot three, Medusa will end up dying. Which isn't that bad, um, to be honest, if only one unit dies. Because Medusa is actually a pretty decent unit, in my opinion. But people, um, we'll talk about it and we'll, and we'll see how it goes. Now, see the primal balanced melee user. Her being melee is kind of hindering her a little bit. Because she does require the dark opus weapons as a main hand. Because she does have a very slow ramp up time. So hopefully, um, we get a better harp clash in the future where you can, you can have more viability with her because right now Elysian and Dark, uh, Drum Master are not that great. So it's kind of hard pressed to play a harp main class right now. So her Ogi Supreme Medusiana, um, gives her a dodge tank and counter effect to Medusa with two hits. This is actually the same effect on a Dark Orpist weapons. If you have, um, auto cap up. So it's not bad. It's actually really, really good. If it comes to survivability, it's not the best thing in terms of damage, but actually this is really good. when you look at her passive skill. So keep that in mind. We'll talk more about the passive skill when we get there. Mighty eyes, her first skill, it gives a wasteland crest. That's the same thing you get from the dark opus weapons. To all allies, you only get one, and it's a boost to earth attack, and 20% water damage cut. This is pretty much um, Siegfried, but a little bit buffed up, because Siegfried used to get 20% water damage, but this one gives a little bit of earth attack as well, which is not bad. Um, the, the turn uptime on it is pretty good, actually. So it's not that bad of a skill, but if you're using this as your main way to gain crest, it's going to be rather slow, so keep that in mind. You're going to really need a faster way to gain crest if you want to really utilize skill 2 and 3 to their full potential. Excuse me. And now speaking about skill 2, we're looking at uh, Petrifying Vision. Now this is just pretty much mist with a little bit extra. So it gives her mist and it also gives her poison effect. Now if you have a Wasteland Crest, you gain delay effect and a boost to debuff success rate which isn't bad um the problem is that most people are probably going to end up forgetting this ability and it may screw them over in the long run but as long as you keep that in your mind that she does have a delay as well it's not that bad and the boost to success rate is always welcomed just so she has a better chance of you know hitting her debuffs characters like this right where like they really rely on debuffs. This one debuff node is not enough really. So having that extra boost does help them out. I don't normally go look at EMPs, but it's kind of important when your unit is really, really looking to hit debuffs. 
Now, Medusana Action is her third skill. Dodge, tank, and counter effect to caster, and bonus earth damage effect. Not to mention that if you do have two crests, this affects all allies. This is a very good skill. This is probably her best skill. The only problem is that it takes two Earthland crests, so it's kind of hard to get two if you're only using skill one. It's going to take a very long time for you to get two. That's not to mention if you even touch skill two. Um, to be honest, if you go with skill two turn one and then you skill one right after, it's really not that long. It's six turns only, but you only get to use it that one time. I kind of wish they gave her the um, Wasteland Crest to her Ogi personally so it's a little bit more faster for her to ramp up but it doesn't work that way keep in mind that the bonus earth damage is 20 percent so it's not it's not a little bit it's actually really good this is this skill is really good when it comes to fa um also in terms of in general it's really good when it comes to taking damage so it's not a bad skill it's just the problem is that to get the all allies effect it's kind of hard Now, her passive skill, this is where I mentioned that her Ogi is actually very, very, very good. Deals triple attacks while counter effect is granted. Earth damage and stair stiff effect to all foes upon taking big damage. Now, essentially, as long as you start with skill 3 or you Ogi, she gains 100% TA. That's very freaking good. That's very good. The character is pretty much going to be TAing most of the time. Does not have any problems. Her being a melee unit is not really going to impede the Ultima because she doesn't need an Ultima. She don't need it at all. So it's really good for her. The only problem is that it hurts everyone else because this only applies to her. So when you're using the all allies effect, you're not getting that for the other units you have. So the only one that's guaranteed to multi-attack is Medusa. Now her last one is your life, not just yours. Uh, water damage reduction to earth allies based on the number of water of uh, wasteland crest. Now this I don't think is that great unless you're using her as a sub ally. Keep in mind that her being in the sub does reduce the damage taken. And this is a very good thing. As I mentioned, Zeno main hand. You can actually run Medusa in the back row. If there was another way to gain crest <laughs> right now currently there is no way for earth to gain crest but if let's say in the future they uh, rebalance some units that to gain crest easier this is actually a viable strat for fa because of the Zeno main hand right now it's not viable but in the future it may be more viable so don't sleep on this unit um, for people who are looking to play Earth, this unit may become a lot better in the future. She still right now is not like broken or anything. She's not like ultra strong, but I think a, she's a unit that will get better over time than a unit that's gonna be great out the bat like Athena. She's not gonna be Athena where she just comes out like amazing, but as time goes on, she'll be a better unit. Uh, her EMPs, I already posted them, but these are EMPs. You mainly want to max out the debuff success rate. You don't really want to do hostility unless you know that you can really gain her 100% TA really fast so that she can keep her dodge and tank counter going on. Keep in mind with her the hostility, she does have more chance of taking hits from like far or something like that if you're using her. So I would hold back on this node depending on your team. But that's about Medusa. Um, let's get to a battle with her and see how she performs. Okay, so this is I think my second recording of it. My original recording ended up being a fail due to the fact that there was no audio in the background. So you didn't really hear anything, sadly. But we're taking on my, taking on a really familiar boss due to the fact that I'm kind of low on time. Currently at the time, this video is probably up. I am streaming and I wanted to shrink to so have to do a couple trains. So I'm in a rush for time. I decided to go with Elysian. So because Drum Master, it's okay too, but I just prefer Elysian personally. 
I don't know if what the better option out of the clashes, but it's what I'm going with, and I'm not going back. Now, I decided to go with Kine and Medusa for debuffing because they both can hit their debuff pretty reliably, so it's not that bad. Um, I'm not going to use skill 3 on Medusa right now, so. The reason being that I, I am using Medusa for um, debuffing, therefore I have to use her skill 1 and the skill 2 to get the boosted rate. Now my damage may be a little bit lower than normal because my the Orpis weapon well, the Opus weapon is at low skill level. I think it's skill level is six right now. The, the fodder's not here, so do forgive me on that. I'm gonna use a URL here and get an Ogi. And that should be good. So. so right now we're on one stack on Medusa. We're trying to get as many stacks as possible so we can get the AoE effect on her skill three. I, I did go with the Ogi cap on the Opus weapon so that I get the faster charge bar speed for the team. Hopefully with that combination I can get Ogis out really quickly. Don't know if it's the best way of doing it, but that's the way I'm going with it. Alex is here because Alex is cute and I like using her. Am I biased? Yes. But I don't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> Good thing URL does carry in the damage department, so pretty pretty good summon. <laughs> so after this next O, I should be able to get Medusa to her third stack very quickly. So Ogi right now. Now Medusa is not going to have any multi attack if she does not have a counter on at the moment, sadly. Even with this setup, she doesn't get enough charge bar to consistently have it. And it's also because I'm not using her skill 3 right now. So I am using it now. So go with that. Ogi, then we use Yorel next turn. The counter's really not that great, to be honest. And then this type of boss where you don't take a lot of damage, or the boss doesn't really attack that much. The counter's not nearly as great. I will be doing a, a real fight with Medusa in the future when I do end up full limit breaking the other. Um, when I ended up skill level 15 this weapon, I haven't done it yet because, you know, it's hard. <laughs> the, skill, the skill level fodder required for the Opus weapons are really intensive, not to mention seraphic weapons and everything. So. It's hard to get all the skill fodder because that didn't, doesn't have a lot right now. Skill one. Skill three. Here we go. But it, I mean, it's Mackie. This boss is not that hard anyway, so. Not much to really worry about. It's just that the damage is not going to be at its maximum output right now. This I definitely like her animation stuff. Her tail wagging. I never got to use the normal Medusa though, so I don't know if they changed anything from the normal Medusa from the Link's Mate. Uh, since I don't have her, I don't know what she does different from this one. Right now my team has really weird Ogi charge gain. It's good and it's bad. I, I kind of like my units being off sync, where I have one unit Ogie by themselves and other units Ogie together. I just don't think that's the greatest on this team right now. I don't know, to be honest, but we'll see. We'll see. Go with that. We have three turns for the next URL, so. We lost the charge bar speed boost, he won't be able to OG, sadly. We are going to get another skill 3 proc off, though. That's good. After our OG this time.
Yeah, Panaki has two stacks. Two million. <laughs> One thing about Medusa Counter is that I do wish it worked on Ogis. The fact that it doesn't work on Ogis can be kind of annoying if you're using her in some bosses where they like like the proc triggers left and right like ultimate bahamut high level you're not really gonna get much out of that counter sadly like right here we're not gonna we're not gonna counter anything i wish we did but we don't whatever also, her damage is low because you know EMP and the fact that skill level up and not skill level. So, so it'll be better in the future though when I take her on in Europa. She's cute though. That much is, that much is prevalent. She definitely is cute. Um. Somebody asked me this question on, uh, I wanted to, to ask you guys. Um, so people wanted me to record the outfit, uh, fate episode for the Seraphic outfit. I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but uh, I wasn't sure on how to approach the recording because I believe there's a lot of fate episodes. There's like five of them, I believe. But I don't know if people only care about the last fate episode. The last fate episode is 10 minutes. Or do people want the whole compilation of all of them together? Do tell me how you guys feel about that and I'll record it. I've already recorded the last one, but I wasn't sure if people cared about the others. Like they, they, I think they get a fate episode every time you complete a weapon. I believe, I could be wrong about that though. So do tell me how you guys feel about that and then I will record it, so. Thank you guys for watching, and if I'm streaming at this time, you may want to come join. I, I do need people to host, like, Bahamut High Levels and stuff, because I am gold bar hunting. I need three more bars to complete each element weapon. So, this, uh, come peek in my Twitch channel. It's in the link. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.